Hey guys, Jimmy Cavanaugh here. Olivia Humphreys on my right, Jordan Jackson on my left. Fresh off an outstanding victory, IU destroys North Carolina tonight. Guys, pretty impressive thing that we saw here tonight. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really cool. Well, I was impressed with uh, Indiana's performance in the first half, but when they had those three dunks at the end and then came out in the second half, things just blew, up, blew out of proportion, and UNC just couldn't keep up. Let's start off with the atmosphere that we saw leading up to it. You guys walking in obviously saw the people lined up in GA. People were trying to get lined up up to two days ago. So a lot of hype coming in. Big Ten ACC Challenge, marquee matchup. A lot of great atmosphere in here tonight. That's all I can really say. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I definitely agree with that. I was trying to run the Twitter handle for IU Sport Comp, and it was so loud that there were times whenever I couldn't hear the band sitting directly in front of me, and uh, most of the time I just couldn't even think about what I was, like, I, I just couldn't think at all, is what it was. I was just watching basketball and couldn't think <laughs> about it, and, but, I mean, the students really brought a great atmosphere into it, and I think it might have even contributed, helped the Hoosiers, like, lift them up a little bit. I, I think it helped anyway. And I know that heading into this game, there was so much talk about it, just so much talk and so much hype. IU um, Athletics sent out an email to everyone, wear your red, and read out the entire assembly hall, which was completely covered in red. And I think we have to give a shout out to some of the great signs we had in the student section tonight. I believe there was one that said, Roy Williams cries while he watches Grey's Anatomy. And uh, <laughs> another one that said, Roy Williams listens to Nickelback. So I didn't see the first one. Th those were pretty great, I have to say. Yeah, no question. And even with that game, and even with the atmosphere that we saw, the first half, pretty solid action. So a, great, a lot of great crowd noise, but not quite the quality of game we expected. IU went into the half up nine but it seemed like both teams left something to be desired in the way they played. Absolutely. I think UNC just wasn't good on the boards. I think that a lot of times McAdoo had an advantage but just didn't take that advantage. And even though Christian Watford didn't have his best night on the boards tonight, you saw other players, especially people like Jordan Holes and Yogi Ferrell, really pick up the slack and really down low Indiana just beat Carolina. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with that. I thought IU came out really strong, and then they kind of seemed to slow down a little bit, and uh, the tempo went down just a little bit in scoring. They were making a lot of sloppy shots, and I think I even commented, you know, such sloppy shots and playing right now. But at the end of the first half, they, they picked it right back up and managed to lead heading into the second half. Yeah, a couple of things I was interested in, I mean, especially at the very beginning, Cody Zeller, seven Really quick points. Beat James Michael McAdoo down the floor. Obviously one of the quickest, fastest big men in America. Seven very, very quick points. But going into the half, like we said, the main offensive cogs were Cody Zeller, Victor Oladipo, Will Sheehy, and Jordan Holes. And only three of them really got going before the half. Will Sheehy going into the second. We might as well get to the second half because IU came out on fire. Just Absolutely. blitzed these guys out of the building. Talk about what we saw at the very beginning of the second half. Um, well, like you said, they just came out on fire. They held North Carolina to only two points in the first seven minutes of the second half. Two points in the first Not seven bad. minutes. Not bad. No. And I have to add to that, you know, as well as Indiana played coming out of the half, I think you honestly have to point to a lack of, lack of execution on UNC's part as well. They were terrible shooting coming, coming out of the half. And IU just took full advantage of that, and then they got those three other scores going, and the rest is history. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the numbers, coming out of halftime, Indiana led, I believe, 46-37, to 37, went on a 22-3 to 3 run. 22-3! to 3. <laughs> Put, Do the math. That's a lot of points to not a lot of points. Indiana made them look bad. I mean, guys, what are we more impressed with, the offensive execution or the defense, because there were a couple of really nice passes from Jordan Holes, length of the court for dunks, but at the same time, defensively, North Carolina came in averaging 86 points a game. They didn't even get to 60. Tonight. Well, it's an easy answer, but I think you have to say both. I mean, IU made as many three-pointers as UNC attempted. <laughs> That'll do it. I, I have to go um, offensively, probably. Um, 
they just came out on fire and were just hitting shots after shot after shot. And especially, we had three slam dunks in a row. And then one from Watford in the second half, which oh, was very boy. refreshing. Let's see. get to that. Because Christian <laughs> Watford, it should be said, did not have a very good night. Watford is someone who Indiana fans have come to expect great things offensively from. Always seems to show up in big games. A lot of people on my Twitter timeline were expecting big things from Christian Watford. And it just wasn't that way. He scored only two points. But those two points came pretty emphatically. A thunderous dunk right down the middle of the lane. If you're going to score two points, that's the way to do it. Absolutely. I guess, yeah. That, 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 <laughs> that says it all. Way that's about all you can say that about it. That says it all. It was, I mean, uh, it, it was so great. I mean, it, out of all the great plays we saw tonight, Jordan Hulls, like we said, length of the quarter passes, on point, Cody Zeller running the floor, all the dunks, all the three-pointers. Watford, even though he didn't play his best game, something nice to see. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, like you said, shots on shots on t- shots. Mm-hmm. Tom Pritchard would be proud sitting yeah. in the audience here today. Uh, final thoughts. I'm going to ask each of you guys MVP of tonight's game. You have a few options to choose from, but a pretty well-rounded performance. Absolutely. It's a great all-around by the Hoosiers, but I think you have to go with Victor Oladipo. Very sound on defense. Didn't let a lot go by him. Will Sheehy, at the same time, did a very did a great job with McAdoo, but Oladipo was all over the place. He was getting open in the lane. He was hitting his shots, hit his foul shots. Uh, he was all over the place, defensively and offensively, and he just really came through in shine, with shining colors tonight. I, I have to go with Will Sheehy. Um, he came into the second half bringing in a lot of energy for the Hoosiers and really helped start that, just flood, flood get those floodgates going for the Hoosiers. And just had a, I thought he had a great game, um, like we said, taking care of McAdoo. And then he just got on fire hitting three-pointers for Will Sheehy. And did he hit three in a row at one he point? He hit three in a row. Yeah. And after the third one, he turned on the swag alert. He was, <laughs> he was yelling down the court. He had the three goggles going. <laughs> yeah. And neither of those guys are wrong answers. Cody Zeller, obviously, great. It should be mentioned, you mentioned uh, Will Sheehy, the job he did on McAdoo. He didn't score in the second half, so that was pretty impressive. I'm going to have to go with Jordan Holes, though, for my MVP. 13 points. He was outstanding from the floor. Grabbed seven rebounds, had eight assists, near triple double against North Carolina for Jordan Holes and no turnovers. That's something that you gotta love to see. Absolutely, he had a great game on the boards. Well, guys, any final thoughts before we sign off from Assembly Hill? It's a great win for the program to come against a ranked opponent, a storied opponent. Five banners against five banners. I'm looking forward to what else the Hoosiers have to offer going forward. I think we should end with. Victor Oladipo discussing him <laughs> singing Bad Boys, Bad Boys. He's, he's singing the cop song in the press conference. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I like that. I, I think, yeah, let me you're right. There's nothing that we could really say <laughs> that could top that off. I'm Jim Cavanaugh for Jordan Jackson, Olivia Humphreys. We're from Assembly Hall. Good night. Travel well, folks. Thanks for watching.